In this video, I want to demonstrate how to finish off the solid jaw of our vise as shown here. So first, I'm going to control tab back to this part. And I'm going to start by editing the part. Then I'm going to select the plane that goes through the middle of it, the front plane. And I'm going to tell I want to make an extrude boss in that plane. I'll look normal too, and I'll create a two point rectangle. And I'm just going to do it up here. I'll use mouse gestures to activate smart dimensioning, and I'm going to make it 3 8 by 3 8. I'm going to push escape. I'll just zoom out a bit, and I want to add a center line. So I'm going to add a center line here. Again, I'll push escape. I'll zoom back in a bit. I'm going to right click on this edge and tell it to select the midpoint. Hold control, select my center line, release control, and I'm going to make those coincident. And then the last thing I'm going to do is select this edge and this line, release control, and make those collinear. So my sketch is fully defined. I'm just going to look at it isometrically. I'll right click to exit the sketch. I'm going to make a mid plane extrusion. And the distance is going to be inch and a quarter. And I'll say OK. And now I've added the actual hard jaw for this bike. My next step is to add a hole for the screw. So I'm going to rotate around. I'll select this face and look normal too. And this time I'm going to go to the features ribbon and tell it I want to make a cut extrude. I'll use mouse gestures to activate circle. And I'll come up here and I'll draw my circle. I'll use mouse gestures to activate smart dimension. I'll make the diameter of the circle 0.275. And I'll dimension from the bottom of the vise to the center of the circle. And make that distance 0.875. I'll push escape. Select the center of my circle, the origin while holding control, release control, and I'll make those two vertical. So my sketch is fully defined. I'll right click and exit the sketch. Just again, go back to the isometric view. I'm going to make the extrusion through all and say OK. And the last thing I want to do is add some fillets to this part. So I'll go back to the features tab, select fillet. I'll set my size to 132nd, and then I'll come out here and I'll select the edges I wish to fill it, as he shows in the textbook, so I make sure I get all the proper edges. And you can do this in one or more fillets, whatever you desire. So I'll get that edge using this. I'll right click here and select the loop. Make sure I have the right loop, I do, and I'll select this edge and this edge and then I'm going to rotate around and I'll select this face of this hole and I'll right click to accept that and then I'll just double check that I have all the fillets that are called for and I do so I'll put it back to the isometric view I'll stop editing my sketch I'll save my work and in the next video we'll start creating the movable movable jaw